Hello, my name is Dr. Samuel Frank. I'm a neurologist specializing in movement disorders, including Huntington disease, at Boston University. I'm also proud to be the principal investigator of First HD. First HD is a clinical research study that will evaluate two things how effective SD809 ER is at reducing chorea and the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of SD809 ER in patients with Huntington disease. SD-809 ER is an investigational drug with the same mechanism of action as the FDA-approved drug tetrabenazine. SD-809 ER has been designed to provide smoother drug levels and less frequent dosing than tetrabenazine, offering greater convenience for patients. SD-809 ER has been studied in healthy adults for short periods, but has not been studied yet in HD. Prior research has shown that tetrabenazine can help reduce chorea in Huntington disease. SD809 ER has the same action as tetrabenazine, but is chemically modified so that even with a lower dose, the effect lasts longer. Although the same amount of medication gets into the body, it works in a smoother way. This study is being done to see if SD809 ER will provide adequate chorea control when used at a lower and less frequent dose than tetrabenazine. First HD will test different doses of SD809ER in order to determine a dose that is safe and tolerated and that also reduces chorea. The dose for each subject will be individualized. We think that chorea may be related to too much effect of a chemical in the brain called dopamine. SD809ER may reduce chorea by decreasing the amount of dopamine in the brain and reducing communication between certain brain cells. Dopamine is used in many places in the brain for multiple reasons. We will monitor participants in this study for any possible benefit from reducing the effect of too much dopamine and side effects from not enough. First HD is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of SD809ER in approximately 90 people who have been diagnosed with HD and who have chorea. The study will be completed at research centers in the United States and Canada. People that enroll have a 50% chance of receiving SD809ER and a 50% chance of receiving placebo in inactive medicine. The study drug will be increased gradually over eight weeks based on how the study drug reduces chorea and how well it is tolerated. Each enrolled person will be closely monitored by study staff to make sure they are doing well. The study staff will discuss how the study medication should be taken and what types of things you should report to the staff. Placebos are study drugs that do not contain any active ingredients. By using placebo study drug, we can compare how people respond to both active and inactive study drug. It helps to sort out what effects, good and bad, are due to the active drug itself, in this case SD809ER, rather than other factors unrelated to the drug. Women and men who have been diagnosed with HD and experience at least moderate chorea, who have never received tetrabenazine, and who are 18 years or older or the age of majority in your state or province, whichever is older, may be able to participate in FIRST HD. The study staff can explain other requirements in order to be in the study. Participants will attend at least eight in-person visits at the research site that includes medical, neurological, and safety assessments. Participants and caregivers will also be required to talk to the study staff over the phone in between in-person visits. Your participation is always entirely voluntary, and you can choose to stop at any time. First HD will enroll approximately 90 participants. Each participant will be involved in the study for about four months. We hope you will consider joining our study with the aim of finding better treatments for people with HD. If you decide to participate in First HD, you will receive study drug and study-related tests and examinations at no cost to you. We recognize that participants, their families, and caregivers devote a significant amount of time and effort to be in research studies. Participants and caregivers may be reimbursed for travel-related costs. Auspex Pharmaceuticals, Inc., a biotechnology company based in California, is developing SD809 ER for chorea and Huntington's disease and is sponsoring FIRST HD. Auspex is working with the Huntington Study Group to conduct FIRST HD with investigators and research centers in the United States and Canada. For more information about the FIRST HD study, you can call the Huntington Study Group at one 800 487 7671 or go to the Huntington Study Group website at www.huntington-study-group.org.
If you have questions about participating, ask your doctor about the first HD trial for Huntington's disease.